alongside Chris Singleton. I'm John Chomby. And it's going to be a hot one out there, Singy. Temperatures in the 90s right now around first pitch. Yeah, Boog, some guys love this heat. They feel like there's no fear attacking the baseball. Don't have to worry about cold days and getting jammed. But I tell you what, for me, it was always about hydration because I could cramp up. And you have to make sure that you stay up on your fluids. And it's not just when the game starts. This is something that you have to do days in advance if you're someone that's prone to cramping. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. And today on the hill, Justin Verlander. And Singy, he's a workhorse. Loves pitching deep into his starts. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is the huge. The Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. And stepping in for the Yankees, DJ LeMayhew. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live oh, arm delivers. Out. Just off the outside edge. And that's how this game gets started. First pick, one o'clock. That oh. misses the zone, and the count is 2-0. That one ball. missed. Well, Freedom. he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. There's a strike. He's a master at hitting fastballs. You need to be careful with location if you're going to throw him. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. There comes an 0-2 to judge. Good eye in that spot. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And there's a foul ball. Man at first, one away. Check swing, but he went too far. And that is strike two. At the belt, he fires. Good job to fight that one off. Field two. Leaps and he's got it. The throw. Abreu. Over to second. Double play. What a clean killing to end the inning. Nothing doing here this half. And now the Astros go to work for the first time. No score. here in Houston and today's starter Garrett Cole anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance man it's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one does he have a feel for all of those pitches or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants now it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches but if he can he is going to be very tough for the opponent today we go to the bottom of the first Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. And a pitch. At ball, the ball one low. Counts one and oh. And a foul ball.
the why to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. And it skips in the dirt. And he deals. And that's in the dirt. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Here's Alex Bregman. First pitch, and he just misses. Altuve gets his lead at first with nobody out. And that's outside. Now 2-0. 2 will count great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Next offering upstairs. You're Don Alvarez in the on-deck circle. And a four-pitch walk. Two walks in the first has to be some cause for concern. I mean, you're talking about a guy you want to pitch deep into the ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count right there. They can't afford to hand out three bases at this rate. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Swings through that one. Hold one the count. No outs, runners at first and second. And here it comes. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And a base hit. And they strike first as they take a one nothing lead. Well, there you go, the RBI machine, another clutch run scoring in back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. First and second, no outs. Jose Abreu now at the plate. Fastball for a strike, going one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss there. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball, but with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. First and second here, no outs. On its way to the corner. And that drops foul. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it. And that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not hey. foul. Kyle Tucker swings through it for strike one. Two on, one out. That one finds the zone, and the count is 0-2. That's out number two. 
Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Here's the catcher, Gaynor Diaz. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Slider just misses. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Next one misses, and it's 3-0. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. That one ripped. And it's off the wall, but foul. 3-1 now. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And next to hit for Houston, Chaz McCormick. In there for strike one. laboring here about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning swing and a miss as he was late wow good luck catching up to that one next offering upstairs it's a good take Fouls it off, still one and two. Base is loaded, two down. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back here in Houston, all set for the start of the inning. And now the DH, Giancarlo Stanton. The right hander back to work. Hey. Swing and a miss. It's 0 1. Oh, no, well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything on speed right here. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boo Dixon, maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. And that's outside. That one in the dirt, and the count is two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. That's a really good take. Anthony Rizzo waits on deck. The pitch. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Bregman drifts towards it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. One up, one down. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Swing and a foul straight back. You know, Boog, from time to time, players mix up their routine if things aren't going their way, and Rizzo is no exception. When he was in a slump in 2023, he changed his walk-up music to Taylor Swift. 
no bad blood there because it worked. He went four for four and hit his first home run in over a month. He even gave credit to Swift after the game. That one fouled off two and two. A little early on that fastball, I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. And another ball. One out, base is empty. Up the middle. Over to Abreu. Rizzo out of the play. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here is Glaber Torres. Torres goes six foot one, 205 pounds, and he was born in Venezuela. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Bregman is under it. And Glaber Torres retired. And that is that. One, two, three, go the Yankees. They're down one nothing. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Now it's the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. The line and the pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Ooh, Baez. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. Ball to strike. The pitch. And it's fouled away. The wind of the pitch. That one not close, and the count is even two and two. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Base is empty one away, bottom half of inning number two. That one misses, and the count is one and one. One down, base is empty. Goes down looking. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Altuve in the box now. No balls and a strike. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Two outs. And that's down and away. One ball, two strikes to count. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. One, two, three go the Astros, but they're on top, one nothing. And we're back, top half of the third inning, and stepping in for the Yankees, Alex Verdugo. Verlander back to work. Fastball in for a strike, 0 and 1. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. the ground and it's through for a hit off to a good start with a leadoff nod. 
Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now Anthony Volpe. Right through there for a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. With the go-ahead run at the plate, we're here in the top half of inning number three. Way high with that one. And one and one with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. And there's one down. Austin Wells will hit next. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. That pitch gets the corner. Strike one. Verdugo leads off first with one away. And that one is lifted in the air. And that'll fall for a base hit. Bro comes in quickly, and the tying run forced to hold on at third with one away. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Tying runs now just 90 feet away. Just got to be wary of that double play, though. That would strand him in any inning. Now it's LeMayhew up to him. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. That nope. one off the mark, and it's 1-0. Oh. Two on, one out. Fought off foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. One doesn't get the call. Ball two. Well, clearly not too happy with the call there. Thought he caught the top of the zone, and you could pretty much read his lips saying, that's not up. That one way outside. Three and two now. Aaron Judge up next. And the pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, they were pretty much giving it to him right there. Playing the infield back. All you're looking for on offense is a simple ground ball. You got a tie ball game. Not sure what he was thinking up there. A strikeout looking is the last thing you want to see. Now you got to hope the next guy can pick you up and come through with a big two out hit. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge, went down on strikes his first time through. Pitch misses inside. And yeah, that's ball one. Two on, two outs. And now two and nothing. They say it went. Two balls, one strike. Corners are occupied with two down. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Set for the bottom of the third, and stepping in for the Astros, Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman. The pitch. 
splits the plate. That's strike one. Well, oh, these Astros do the great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They've worked three walks already, oh, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. And the leadoff man aboard. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Single that drove in a run his first time through. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. And that's in there for strike one. Runner at first with no outs here. Left hand hitter waits. Just off the inside corner. And it's one and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch take at bat. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. And the right hander deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there we see the result. Jose Abreu up to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Ball one, one there. That one catches the zone, and it's one and one. Crushes one, left field, Verdugo going back, pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield, got to the spot, turned around and made a nice catch. Here's Kyle Tucker. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. That misses, and that is ball one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. That one pulled foul. And another ball. fly ball to right center. Soto sizing this one up. Two down. Now the catcher. So first and second with two outs. 
Gainer Diaz up next for the Astros. Oh, and takes low for ball one. Right through there for a strike. First and second, two down. Here in the last half of the third. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Headed for the plate. He'll score, and they take a two-run lead. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Here's the left fielder, Chaz McCormick. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. 0 1's the count. Fouled off left side. The pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Runners on first and third. Two away. Down the line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Two outs. Got him. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 2 0 ball game. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fort, Juan Soto. The right-hander back to work. That's and that's downstairs and outside. The Yankees looking to rally. And that one in the air center field. Myers sizes this one up. Brings it in. And there's one away. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 1 as he popped out foul to third his first time up. And that's too high. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Two balls, no strikes to count. The Yanks trailing by two. Top half of inning number four. And a big swing from Stanton. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2-0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. One down, base is empty. And another ball. And yeah, there's ball four. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack his own either. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Mm -hmm. 
Next pitch, not close, up high. No, oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. That catches the top part of the zone, and that's strike two. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch, and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger, and perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit. Stanton over at first with one away. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Here's Glaber Torres. Popped out and fouled ground first time through. Ball, Ball one, one, no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Ball Wouldn't man. chase that time. Glaber swings, drives one. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Here comes Stanton. The relay to the plate. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time. And they cut down the run to end the inning. here in Houston ready to go bottom four and stepping in for the Astros Jeremy Pena off the mark there ball one bounce to the left side Volpe and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man now batting, the center fielder, Jake Myers. Jake Myers, up next for the Astros. Struck out looking at his first at bat. And yeah, oh, that's outside. Down. One and oh. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Foul ball there. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Now, Tuve, the next to hit, takes ball one. That one finds the zone. And the count one and one. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing there for Houston, but they hold a two nothing lead. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's Alex Verdugo. The pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. You know, these Yankees showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but 
So far, he's been really effective in this one. You know, sometimes it just takes getting to the bullpen in order to be able to score runs, and that might be the case today. Anthony Volpe getting ready to hit. That's in there. And that's strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball. The two Astros strikes. up by two, and we're at the top of the fifth. Not even down. close there, and it's two and two. Swing, and he breaks his back. Over to Abreu, and they're down to their last out. Got to feel pretty good for the pitcher. Absolutely yeah. sawed him off. Bat explodes. Yeah. And then he makes an easy play on it. Pretty satisfying if you're out there on the ball. So last chance for the Yankees. And here's the catcher, Austin Wells. That's oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's one to know. Two outs, base is empty. Off the mark there. And it's two and oh. Lifted to left, and that should do it. He pulls it down, ball game. And the Astros get a shutout on the mound. Well, a low scoring ball game in this one. Two nothing game, few errors, pretty clean. That's kind of what you want to see in terms of defense and pitching. A couple of runs was all it took to get the W today. Two nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.